project is sending me slightly insane. I've got all of the uh, hoops, I guess you call them, in place, but as I bring them over and join them together in the middle, they're pulling in here. So I had to put um, something across the side here, which I did try with another piece of conduit, which worked okay on this side because the it was against the posts. Well, it didn't work for these ones though. But on the other side, the garden beds are actually offset. If you see the posts on the other one, uh, there is actually in between these ones. So it wasn't working and it's driving me freaking crazy. So I had these um, actually fence railings, um, like on that fence over there, just along here, metal railings. So I'm using them, they're a bit more rigid. I got them on both sides and now um, as I bend them over the over these things it's making the bottom bit pop off the piece of Rio rod or the join in the middle is popping and I haven't glued them yet because I'm still trying to figure it out but so hopefully if I glue them that might be all right I'm just not sure what to do with those down the bottom I'll have to think of something stuff some foam in there I don't, I don't know so it is sort of coming along um, I'm, my piece of rod is short at that end so it's not grabbing that last arch typical um, I've got an extra hoop on this bit at the end here yeah I'm doing all this to try and cover both beds but by the time I put the plastic on, if I can't figure out this end bit, I might even give up and go back to just covering the three, uh, the two beds individually. Um, trying to do this on your own as well is difficult, um, but time is limited now. I can't do it after work because it gets dark within half an hour. Um, and my lunch break is all I've got, is one hour during the day. So it's hard to um, to squeeze time in and uh, have someone on hand to help as well. But I'll get some help tomorrow, Saturday, and um, yeah, hopefully we can get this done. Because the plumber's got stuff in his van; he might be able to help me with. All right, moving along. Okay, we finally got it together. Looking fairly even-ish, sort of. And it's all about the right height, which is, um, if I put my arm up, it's to my wrist, so probably six foot five, something like that. Um, still don't know how this end bit's gonna work, but we're almost ready to put the plastic on. It's a wee bit wonky at this end. These metal braces uh, didn't quite reach, but I need it on these ones that are tensioned more than I need it on this one. So this is just to tuck that in. And I'm gonna have to do something about um, the sharp edges on here, probably wrap it in cloth and tape it. So next fun bit, it's a bit wonky. Um, next fun bit is uh, getting the plastic on. And then I've got to figure out what to do on the ends for a doorway thing. Alright, nearly there. Plastic's on. Wasn't that hard. There's a hole in the plastic over there that I've got to mend. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's been on for about three minutes and it's already warm. It's good. Yeah, we've tucked the edges in a bit. Starting to neaten up now. Um, the only problem I see with this is I've rolled them the wrong way because as the rain comes down the wall, it's going to fall in that gutter and all the water's going to gather in that pocket. <coughs> but you know what? 
I'm going to fix that later because uh, this has been a very frustrating job and I'm glad to get it to this point. Um, I think this is going to be my door end because I've got it's just the semicircle, no funny bits poking out. Um, don't really have any idea how to do the door. We had to do a few sacrifices of pumpkin uh, on this side because it was all poking out. Uh, unfortunately, there's a nice big fat one that I had to cut off. So, um, I've left a couple of vines in here. If I can get in. A couple of vines there. And I've left the plants in there. There's some that are growing across the middle of the bed that have got pumpkins on them and now hopefully that they're inside they may actually grow stay on I'm just pruning up a few of the yellowing leaves and those that have got mildew on them I'll um, powdery mildew I'll trim all those up and leave all the good green stuff we'll see how the how the pumpkins fare in here now so this end is not looking too bad now I've pulled it firm at the other end it might still flap around, I'm sure. It's not fixed or anything, so it'll be alright. So these are only a metre wide, these beds, so I can, if I sit on the edge, I can actually reach to the other side. And you know what? I'm going to have to take, take my jumper off in a minute. It's warm in here. Um, and also, yeah, if it gets too warm, I um, will prob uh, like just be able to open up one side. Hey lettuce, got little nibbles on you. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm glad I did it. At least it's up. My own greenhouse. Woohoo! Time for lunch now. <laughs>